So what to do if you find water in your fuel? Welcome back to another scenario training with J1 Aviation. So today we're talking about contaminants in your fuel. So during your pre-flight checks, you probably have a line item for fuel quality. So to check the quality of the fuel, you drain a sample from the tanks. And then what we're looking for the fuel sample for is completely clean 100 low lead fuel. Now let's say you find water in your fuel. What do you do now? Well, it's simple, right? You keep draining the sumps until there is no more water in the fuel tester. You need to get all the water out. So how do you know if there's water in the fuel tank? Well, water is heavier than fuel, so any water in the fuel tank would have settled near the bottom of the tank where the drain is. So this is why when you sump the tank, it'll be at the bottom of the tank and then it'll drain out first. So what will it look like in the strainer if there is water in the fuel? Well, it could be noticeable in several different ways, which we'll look at. And it really just depends on how much water is in there, right? So if you only have a couple drops of water, it could just be more in the form of clear bubbles at the bottom or on the sides of your strainer. Now, if you have more than that, and then you know, you'll see a dividing line somewhere in the strainer. But what if the whole thing is water? Or what if it's all fuel? How do you know which you have a full tester of, right? So 100 low lead, of course, is dyed blue. So if your strainer is filled with blue liquid, then it's all gas. Good news, you've got fuel in your tanks. If it's all clear, bad news, you've got a strainer full of water. You know, dump it out and strain again and try it again. Keep doing that until you have a sample of fuel. So let's say you strain several times and it just continues to be all clear. You know, at what point do you start to get concerned about this with the water accumulating in your tanks? So if you're draining lots of water and your aircraft is parked outside, might be a good time to inspect the gaskets on the fuel cap. But how much then water is too much? I guess that's your call, right? But if you're getting two full strainers full, you know, that seems to be quite a bit of water. So now, hangered aircraft, of course, are less likely to have this problem. Like our aircraft here is only flown in VFR conditions. When it's not flying, it's parked in the hangar, right? So it's quite unlikely that we'll get water in the fuel tank, but of course it still could happen, right? Because water in the tanks doesn't necessarily just come from rainwater, right? getting it around the fuel cap there's if you have lower levels of fuel in the tanks you know the moist air in the tank can condensate overnight when it's cooler and cause a little bit of the water to form in the tanks that way so now what if you take your sample of fuel from the fuel tank and it's dripping when you're done or worse yet you have a continual stream of fuel coming out so i've seen this before and it could be that you know when you're sumping the fuel tank maybe the drain doesn't seat properly so you could get this continual dripping. You know, usually if you just drain a little bit more, it'll reseat and resolve the problem. So on some aircraft, you know, if you push too much and twist it a little bit, you might get it to lock open and the fuel will just flow out. So you need to be mindful of that. So over time, you know, you'll be pre-flighting and have cases where there's water in the fuel. Generally not a problem, just drain it out and you're good to go. So now let's look at what some of these different cases look like. Okay, so let's look at some scenarios here with fuel. So here we got some fuel just drained out of the tank. So you wanna be careful how you compare it against the background so you can see if it has a good color. It's hard to tell just by holding it here. If you put it against the aircraft, you might be able to notice it's blue. You can see if I put a white paper behind it, you can see it's dyed blue. So here we got some good fuel. I don't see any drops of water in it so it looks clear. So let's add a little bit of water and see if we can tell what the water looks like when it's in it. Okay, so I got a mostly frozen water bottle here because it's been freezing cold outside. All right, so let me add a little bit of water to this fuel and we'll see if we can tell the difference. Now you can see here at the bottom, there's like a dividing line at the bottom, right? That's the water that's settled near the bottom. So if you got some water in your fuel tank, that's kind of what it's gonna look like. So let's add some more. And you can see now we got a little bit more. So I'll put this paper behind it. And you can 
there you go you can see it on the bottom now so if you got fuel in your strainer and you drain it and you see a little bit of water on the bottom there you go now you now you know what water looks like so you get this situation keep draining until the water is clear thanks everybody for watching hope you join us on a future flight and thanks for flying j1 aviation